And you know we love our TikTok. Well, there's a viral TikTok that has women chiming in on no, no first dates. And some may come as a surprise to you. We went out, we asked some New Yorkers to see if they agree. I decided, you know, <laughs> Bianca Peters, Ryan Christopher, wasn't so long ago that they were dating freely mm -hmm. in New York City. That's right. Right? That's right. Free. This, you can remember your last name. <laughs> I can totally. Some yes. of them were good, some of them. Not so much. Terrible. Oh, you said terrible. Terrible. They were that bad? Oh, yeah. I ran away crying on one of the dates. We'll get into that oh. later. Hold on, but Do we're going to talk about this because um, on a first date, you want to make a good first impression. Obviously, hello, you're on your best behavior. You look all spiffy and nice wearing your best clothes. <laughs> and you want to experience some fine dining. So a viral video started this whole controversy as to what is an acceptable place to take a date? One woman on TikTok thought she was just too good for Cheesecake Factory. She complained <laughs> that she deserved better than a chain restaurant. Take somebody to a Cheesecake Factory, that's like, I'm paying a lot of money to take you to Cheesecake Factory. If you take me to Chili's, what are we doing? And we didn't agree upon it. I feel like that's the thing. There needs to be an agreement. Cheesecake Factory is, is good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it it right? good. Why is everyone so hate good. on Cheesecake Factory? So many options at Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Blue and Onions there, hello. A group of ladies actually made a list of where you Isn't should not take them. No, blue, there's another blue and onion okay, cheesecake. Right. Come on. Sure. Okay, so there's this list that this group of ladies said that this is where they don't want to go. This is where you don't take them on a first date. It's unscientific, but the number one on that list is Hello Cheesecake Factory, followed by Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, and then get this, the movies. That's like a date That's spot. Classic. And then also this, your house. A dating expert says once you get past or survive the first date, dates number two, three, those ones are the real test. But I have to ask Ryan's opinion on this. Yeah. we got to get the guys, um, the male perspective. Well, I agree with the house. You shouldn't say, hey, want to go on a date? Just come on over to my no. house. That's not creepy at all. No, Unless no, no. you want to get it on. Oh, all right, listen, we're, we're talking about the first date, Bianca. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, some people want to get it on on the first all date. All right, we'll go to Cheesecake Factory first and then do what you got to <laughs> do after. You know, the, there's a main entree and a dessert. You know what I'm saying? Have you had some bad dates? Uh, I've had plenty of dates. I mean, I'll tell you one thing not to do. Don't try to take a girl paddle boarding because I took her out. It was in the Long Island Sound. And I thought, oh, this will be cool and different you mm -hmm. know and then the water was so strong like she just started crying and she like <laughs> w like she didn't even talk to me after she just sat on the beach and I'm like is this still a date are we good and then that was the end of that Have but I'm happily married now so it's all good okay. um, but I think the problem is here uh, this ain't the bachelor all right this is social media so everyone has these high expectations from TV from social media that yeah. oh you got to take me to this to that to the you know Fre I mean Fresco would be a great place to take someone that is a great first date yes. you've seen I'm, probably I'm plenty I, we've seen plenty Plenty. And you know, yeah, sometimes we get in on it too. Yeah. We've had blind dates, everything. It's good. Uh, but I like those other places. You like too. chilies, you like Olive Garden? I, I I'm definitely a cheesecake factory person. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say no on this one. It's just too many options. It's too confusing. But that's what's fun about it. That's not fun. You're just sitting there waiting to figure out what you want after you have to go through 20 pages of what's okay. on the menu. Is there a spend limit, though? I mean, is it like, oh, you got to spend at least 200? Because I feel like on this list, like these <laughs> no. are some high-end girls. You know what I'm saying? Like they want some classy cuisine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, any mm. bad dates for you? First dates? Uh, first dates. I've had them. Uh, I choose not to talk about them. <laughs> uh, some of them may, might be watching. Uh, but yeah, no, there's always, I think that's part of the growing experience. Have you ever thrown up on, on a date? No. Wait, uh, thrown up? Yeah. No, no. no? What, have you? No. Yes, it, I what, have. Why? I, I, I went on a I went on a plane ride, an aerobatic plane ride, and I thought I could be very cool because I wanted to impress this guy. Like, sure, I'll do yeah. it. I got it. And five minutes in, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to wow. okay, So listen, did you get a second date? Up. Actually, yes, I did. You did? Wow. What a guy. <laughs> what what a guy. Hey, the Yonkers had some very fancy dates. Right. We've, we've walked to ours. Yes. You walked to ours? Well, no, I'm just saying my first dates with oh. guys. Oh, you, you walked. <laughs> you didn't walking. take airplanes, right? We didn't take airplanes. Yes. No, I mean, we live in the same city. We were going up in a plane. I guess that's fancy. But I threw up, so I don't know there which one's go. more fancy or not. I just feel like Anyways. the more you explain it, you're just digging yourself <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to shut yeah. up. Maybe we we were on a private jet doing uh, flips. <laughs>